Alright, so in uh, this first video, we're going to be building a, um... Oh, sh... Alright, so I guess what I'm actually going to have to make first is a tripod for my camera so that it doesn't fall over again. Right, let's get to it. So, um, I think I've got everything that I need. So I got these pieces of wood to be the legs and the main structure for the tripod. And then I just got some nuts and bolts and stuff. Uh, aside from that now, I'm going to have to 3D print some parts to hold all of this together. So yeah, over to the computer. So uh, here at the computer, um, we can see this is what I managed to come up with. Uh, pretty basic really. I mean, yeah, there's just the three wooden pieces as legs. Uh, everything attaches with nuts and bolts. Uh, I decided to use a GoPro mount as the um, camera holder. Well, to mount the camera, basically. Uh, simply because I have adapters for all my cameras uh, to the GoPro mount. So it would just be easier. Uh, the design, as I said, was well is pretty basic. Uh, the legs can move independently, um, the whole thing can rotate, and the um, camera is able to pivot up and down. That's pretty much it. Uh, bolts lock everything together. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, for those who are wondering, I did this in Fusion 360. Uh, it's free if you haven't ever used it before. Um, I would highly recommend it. So yeah, let's print it. So, um, parts are finished, uh, there's pretty much everything we'll need. So we got the main body, as you saw, the three leg joints, um, part that swivels on the main body, and then this part allows it to tilt and uh, has the GoPro mount. Alright, so I have to uh, cut all of these pieces of wood to the same length, I'm only going to need three as you saw on the computer so yeah I'm gonna make them about 30 centimeters long so let's get to cut alright there we go not too hard pretty easy actually um, on to the next bit well, I messed up, so I didn't measure this, so it serves me right. I thought these were 10 mil by 10 mil. Apparently they're not, they're actually closer to 12. And when I 3D printed these yokes, I printed them 10 mil by 10 mil. So yeah, damn. Right, so this is... <laughs> A very unorthodox and um, inaccurate approach to it, but I messed up, so there is no real other option except 3D print the whole thing again, but I'm too lazy to do that. So, just going to cut this down a bit. I shall be here a while. Well, that took a while, and I made a big mess, but the parts fit, just about, so yeah, we can get on with the rest of it. Alright, so I'm just about finished, I'm just tacking these in, yeah, um, 
they did end up fitting, but just not great, and they don't look well. Alright, so now it's finally time to put everything together. So we got the bolts, we got the 3D printed parts, we got our legs and the joints mounted on them. Uh, yeah, let's get to uh, building this thing. Alright, so this first one, uh, this will go up through there and through that thing. Um, I think it's going to be too long, so I might have to cut it. Yeah, it's too long. So, I'm going to have to cut this. Alright, so I'll cut that. And then we can get on with building this thing. Again, always measure things. So, um, I cut the bolt. The next thing I have to do is get this nut down into that hole. You can see it there, yeah, in there. Um, so I'm just going to use this really long bolt and uh, kind of just pull it into the hole. So I'm just going to take a while and screw it all the way down to the bottom. So eventually I did get the nut embedded. That took a while and um, needed a bit of persuasion with a hammer but it eventually got there. So the next thing to do is get these two parts together. <sighs> right. This just goes through there. This will take a while. Anyway, that goes on there, and then you can tighten it to prevent it from um, moving back and forth. This thing gets the bolt that we cut down earlier, goes through the bottom of it, that yoke goes in there, and then you just tighten it down. It spins, and then you can just tighten it further you don't want it to spin, it just gets locked in place. Alright, now the last part is to put these legs on. Uh, they've got holes in that line up with the holes in the main body, and then these screws go through here. Screws, bolts, I don't really care what you want to call them. They all do the same job. have it. Uh, that leg's coming loose. Oh, there it goes. I'll have to fix that, but you get the idea. That goes like that. Now, onto the other three. Just loosen that up. So, um, there we go, really. Yeah, I just broke off the other leg. I'm going to try and fix that, but um, that's the general idea. Alright, I'll come back to you when I have those legs finished. It's finished! Um, no, the legs just had to be um, persuaded with a hammer. That was pretty much it. Um, obviously, I don't have the camera on the tripod right now. Uh, pretty sturdy, 
well, relatively sturdy. The legs don't wobble or anything. You can just tighten it up with the bolts and they all stay in place. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry about the uh, camera shaking. I'm holding it in my hand because I don't have anything else. Uh, that's yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.